Yo, what is up guys and welcome back to another episode of Slice of Shonen. I am your host, The Clouded Crow, and today we'll be reacting to Undead Unluck Episode 4. Four. And in the last episode, we have finally met the union member that the last union member told us to meet up with. Apparently, her power lets her create invisible barriers, which is super cool. We've seen her capture Andy by creating an uh, invisible barrier around his head so he couldn't regenerate. We saw her create an invisible barrier that like lifted a chunk of the ground up into the sky. And then we saw her use a barrier to make like an invisible staircase for the water to flow down it just looked absolutely gorgeous i think she has one of the coolest powers i've seen in anime but hopefully in this episode we can see what she really can do with this crazy power that she has so if you guys are excited for the episode make sure to leave a like and while you're down there make sure to hit that subscribe button and lastly do not forget that there are a bunch of bonuses over on the patreon the main one being that if you head on over and join the two dollar tier then you get access to all of my uncut reactions including this series right here but with that all out of the way, let's get into this episode. Oh, this guy again. What the heck is he doing here? Is he giving us a recap? Master Shen. Oh, that's his glove on the ground. I thought that was somebody's arm. Yep, and I believe he also told her that they were coming too. So she was waiting for us. We got Fuko and Andy versus Gina. Oh yeah. <laughs> he tried it, he tried it. I forgot that she mentioned that he was like the only person that she loved too, right? Or the only person that she fell in love with. Oh, yeah, that was the name we gave him. My guess is she's older. Oh, my God. Don't tell me she's one of those characters that's like hundreds of years old. She's 66! Anti-aging. <laughs> she didn't want him leaking their secrets. Eternally 16. Get out of here. <laughs> Jesus! She almost cut that man- Wait, she did cut it off! Duh. Oh my god. Her power is terrifying. Aw oh man, here comes the rivalry. Here's where it begins. So romantic, sitting in a cell. So this is her when she was actually 16. And now she's 66, but she looks the exact same. Dang. And here's the rematch. We're about to get into it. <laughs> He's like, huh? I did that? She, well, she's obviously planning to take him back. Nothing. Unfazed, dude. Her power is too crazy. We can't lay a finger on her. The combat crazed cretin. <laughs> oh, and now she can add him to the seat. <laughs> now she can't block a flash blank, a flash bang, because her barrier is invisible. Dang, what was that? A giant invisible hand? Dude, I feel like the possibilities are endless with this power. I hope you do, because so far you haven't been able to land a scratch. Yep, invisible walls and stairs, and arms. Oh my god. So it's not as simple as just hardening things. 
or just creating invisible barriers. Jesus Christ! Her legs would have been gone! Can we talk about how every episode this man finds some way to lose his pants? <laughs> he can't go one episode with a pair of pants. Now she did not want to hear that. What she negates? What is it? Even she is confused! <laughs> okay, he launched his head off. Clever. Okay, not so clever. What is he trying to do here? You negate an object's change in form. The change in the air, okay. Oh, So it's not invisible anymore. Unchange is her ability. So is it that she can only change air? Or she can change anything? Hmm. <laughs> She's just like a backpack, just clinging on for dear life. Oh no. She didn't even do anything! <laughs> you can't take this out on her! This is where the real rivalry begins, man. Now she's trying to take Fuko's head off. Oh my god! <laughs> so this is how she's able to stay the same. External targeting. Okay. Oh, so she can't affect herself! Just like Fuko! Yeah, she's external targeter, cause she never suffers bad luck. People around her do. No, nah, no, nah, we know your secret. <laughs> she just cakes on the makeup! <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> she can take his head off. She can rip his arms off. She's never recovering from what he just said there. The charm's all in the droopage. Oh. <laughs> what? What did he say? <laughs> Someone translate? The seed of unluck. Oh no. <laughs> that was such perfect timing. Dude. Oh my god! UMA? Hmm. Ah, so that's why she asked that question when they were painting. Oh no. And she'll give you change! Ooh! He blocked it! Okay. Dang, this looks so sick! That was such a cool shot right there. Oh no. She has that crazy look in her eye. I don't like this. Okay. What's the plan? Yeah, true! <laughs> that I've been charging up this whole time. Oh, and it's perfect that we're, like, walking on water. Because now he can swim underneath. Yeah, she can't see anything. But it's too late now! What?! Oh! It's over! Unluck unleashed! Yeah, but since he's inside, something is going to happen that's going to mess her up bad. Light-based unluck? What? Oh my god! She's dead! She's actually dead! <laughs>
<laughs> they vaporized her, dude. You know Andy made it out, though. Oh, yeah, and this whole thing's gonna fall. Oh, wait, what the heck? Why did it look like it was just water? But when we saw it, when it was first being lifted, there was, like, ground underneath it. And then water, like, sliding off the top. But if the barrier went down, then that means... Yep. That means we got a free seat in the union, baby! I'm gonna finish her off. I chose not to. Oh. Dang. That's gonna be us soon. Not a single thing changed. So it turns out that she did want change. She just didn't believe it was possible. Aww. Look, he's holding her hand too. Dude, this is so beautiful. Dang. Beautiful. Ah, oh, man. Gina and Andy. Do you love the change in me? That was a fire episode. Alright, so that was the end of the episode, and... <clears throat> Alright, so that was the end of the episode, and if you guys are new to the channel, at the end of every single episode, I like to give you guys a question of the day, and today's question of the day is going to be... Now that Gina's story is pretty much over now, at least as far as we know, she could come back in the future, come back to life, who knows, but I doubt it. Since her story's over, what do you think about the sort of dilemma that she's had to deal with? The fact that she felt as though her job in the union was to maintain the way things were. It was to prevent change, but secretly, the entire time she wanted something to change. So I want to know what you guys think about that dilemma in the comment section down below, and also just what are your thoughts on the ending in general, with the whole kiss and him saying that Gina was beautiful even though the, I guess, youth magic or whatever the heck they were using was starting to wear off. Let me know what you think in the comment section down below, and with that I'm going to head out. Thank you all so much for watching this far into the video, and I will catch you all in the next one. Have a good one.